Okay, I'm standing at 36 First Avenue. So here's the street going down this direction. Rotate around, you got my car. Front yard is black decorative gravel. Got some nice bushes along the side. There is a pinkish walkway leading up to the house and I'm gonna back up here to the street and turn around and kind of give you an idea what we got. There's a side driveway here and it goes all the way to the back fence there by the pool. And you've got the garage doors, the front, and then this is kind of a cute entryway. It walks up the pathway and you've got this nice covered porch and it's three o'clock in the afternoon and it's actually 3 30 and the western sun is not hitting on this patio at all so anyway you've got some chairs here large front windows patio so this is the front door all looks nice and tight to me. It's got a pretty cool electronic keypad on it. So when you open it up, and I didn't turn the lights on in the living room, I probably should have, but there's a small entryway here, um, front door and tiled entryway. So this is what you get when you enter as a space. So as you come in the door, this is what you're gonna see. There's a hallway this way, which contains the bedrooms. And then you've got the living room. So it's still got the textured ceiling on it, which could come down. It's got a decent light fixture. It's pretty cool, actually. And what I believe to be is laminate flooring. I'm not 100% sure. You've got a wood stove right here and these are no longer allowed to be put in page but as long as they're here you can keep them they're very cool um, I should say they're very warm this is kind of an older one it's in the proper type enclosure with the brick and then here's a vent so this is a swamp cooler system the evaporative cooler is on the roof and it is vented into the house so those can be swapped out with a regulation heat pump type AC in the future because it is definitely vented and it is pretty cool in here. So here's the living room. Then as you walk in here, you've got back doors and I'm guessing this could have a small table, although it, it seems pretty small to put a table. It's more like just walkway to the door. The kitchen is pretty cute. Um, these cabinets look to be very new. Um, they're kind of cute because they've got, I was just messing around with this and it doesn't show up on my phone real well, but they've got little lights up in the cabinets. All of the cabinets are soft clothes, so that's pretty cool. You've got a decent quality of granite in here. So that's nice. It's, it's not super thick. But it is nice and it does look like it's been maintained. Granite does take a little bit of work, um, you know, but it looks pretty good. And then all of the drawers also look really good. So you've got this and once again, they are soft clothes. Uh, floor in here is tile. The stove looks like it maybe needs a little cleaning. It's a Kenmore, but it's a gas range and it still looks good as does the microwave, which is a Kenmore Elite. The refrigerator is a stainless steel General Electric. You've got plenty of cabinets here. So running along this wall and then this wall as well. Then you've got a Bosch washing machine, which is you know pretty well top of the line there. Stainless steel sinks. You've got the kind of newer faucet that pulls out and then slides back in here. Um, even though these are apparently single plane windows, um, they might be double, not sure, but the window seals and everything look in good condition. They have updated 
the ceiling in here so you can see that the old texture is gone. They have put the recessed lighting in a kind of a more modern lighting fixture here. Um, coming around, you've got a second living room. And this one is really nice size as well. And it's got a Blaze King. And from what I know, these vents on the wall are because the there's vents behind there that blow out the hot air. So this looks like the blower system may be taken apart, but Blaze Kings are probably the top of the line in wood stove. Once again, it's not a it's not a pellet stove, it's an actual wood stove, so that's pretty cool. We also have the recessed lighting up here plus the access to the backyard. So there's access in two places here. And then here's kind of a view again of the kitchen. Okay, so I'm gonna head over this way. So I'm taking a left. The garage would be straight in front of me. To the left of that is the washer and dryer room. The ceiling in here also has been updated. It's got a nice light fixture. In the bathroom here, there is a utility sink. Looks like it could use a little paint. Um, I'm not seeing anything really egregious. There's some paint, so they didn't look, doesn't look like they painted this room. Um, you've got some cabinet storage here and here, and there's the toilet. So this room, you know, probably needs a pretty good bath. It looks like they've made use of the utility sink, which is what it's for. So coming back out this way, you've got the washer and dryer. Uh, not sure why the vent is covered up there other than they probably don't need to be air conditioning this room. And the door is also not here, which makes it a little bit nicer to enter. You've got the garage here. It looks like it's got an automatic garage door opener. It's two car, it's not real tall but it does look to be in pretty good shape. It's got a door to go out to the side yard and a pegboard and then rotating around, this is what I noticed, this answers some questions. This is the heating unit. It's not the heating and cooling unit, but it is the furnace right here and the hot water heater. That's wrong, it's just a water heater. And there's a fuse box back there as well. And they've made some things along here to store stuff. Not sure what is staying. But nice garage. Looks like we have attic access here. And another attic access that is pulled down here. So heading back into the house. If we come back in, we've got the kitchen again. We're going to turn. And by the way, those lights are not flashing. It's just the way my phone's picking it up. Um, we're going to turn and go back through the kitchen and let me turn those lights off. That's kind of there. So they're not flashing. It's just the way my phone's picking it up. Anyway, back to the granite. Um, I just want to mention it is in good shape. Um, sometimes I see granite that's not. It's been a little abused. This is not one of those. We've got tile here. Um, judging from the color of grout, it could probably be steamed and be a little lighter, but it, it's not bad. I mean, it looks like it needs a little bath, but nothing. You've got the decorative tile between the two. And then coming this way is our row of bedrooms. Um, thermostat, thermostat, this one is for the AC, and I'm guessing that one is for the heater. And to the right, we have the guest bath. So this is a full bath. I like the little light fixture, it's kind of cool. Um, this countertop hasn't been updated, but that's okay. Uh, toilet, and then I did not look in here. Um, standard looking tub enclosure. And, you know, nothing terrible, nothing, nothing fantastic, but certainly not terrible. And back to here, there's the bathroom vanity and cabinets. So. Coming back out into the hallway, hanging still to the right, we've got a guest bedroom. This looks like it had been a children's room, closet, and there's a couple of bunk, or there's a bunk bed in here. This room would need some touch up painting. You'd probably want to take all the hooks out of the walls, um, replace the drapes, and definitely a new light fixture. 
And then down the hall on the right again is bedroom number two, also a child's room. Fun bunk bed with a slide. Pretty large closet space here. Um, looks like, I see if I can see back in there, both, all three sides are shelved. So there's a lot of storage solutions in this room. And hanging back to the right again, we're gonna, there is a hall clo coat closet here. And then, sorry, to the left is the front door, just so that you know where we are. There's the living room, the front door, and now we're gonna go into bedroom number three. And this appears to be the master. You've got the closet. They had a good sized bed in here. You probably would want to upgrade that. This still has the old textured ceiling, and then you have the master bath. So this is kind of cute. It's nice and blue. They've done, this has been updated. So um, this is a standalone cabinet. It's cute. It's got the sink, mirror. They got another matching mirror, and the towel bars and everything match, as well as the hangers. So standard kind of master bath. It's not a tub, but it is an oversized walk-in shower. So here we are again. Got the high, and here, here, sink, and I got the upgraded faucet there. So coming back out this direction, we're in the master. This is the hallway to the other two bedrooms and the guest bath is straight ahead. Living room to this point is to the right-hand side front door. So I'm gonna take another minute and just walk straight through this area that is between the living room or, and the kitchen area. And we'll head outside. So this is pretty cool. Not that you would need it and they might be taking this pretty awesome swing set situation. We had a little bit of rain here today, it's nice. So this is the side yard and this looks to be an AC unit. I'm wondering what I'm looking at here. Okay, that's, an, that's a large evaporative cooler that's on the side of the house. And there is another one on the roof. So this is the side yard. And then as you rotate around here, you've got a big tree, swing set, trampoline, the back patio, which has the exit to the master, and it's not the master, what is over there? The other living room and the dining room both have an entrance to this back patio. You've got a trampoline, hummingbird bushes along here. I do believe that they are leaving the pool set up. It's not a cheapy pool. It's got all the filters and everything running there. It is an Intex. And then down this way is where we started. So that's the front yard that's heading towards the street. And this is the back of the house. So that pretty well covers it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. We have an electric furnace and an evaporative cooler for the air conditioning. Pretty decent backyard, nice grass decorative um, bark. It looks like it's been very well thought out here. And going back in, you've got the pretty cute kitchen. Not gonna, not gonna mitigate how cute the kitchen is. All right, you guys, I will upload this and give me a call if you have any questions.